Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we have a nice little plane right here, man. We have 110% FT Goblin right here. We got a 1300 kV motor, it's a 2830, 1300 kV, 38 BSC. We got a 2200 4S on there. We should be pretty good. We should be pretty, pretty good. Now, the only thing I am concerned about is my reflex in this little hole right here, FPV hole. Don't have no FPV on here yet. Um, it's, uh, it's, it, might, it might go on here, it might not, depending on how I feel. Um, but we're gonna chuck it up and see what happens, man. I hope she flies, uh, so wish me luck, honestly. I think she should be good, though. A little bit too nose heavy. So I'm gonna bring her down. She's actually all right. There you go. Pretty good. Literally straight as the whistle. Flip to low rates. <laughs> high rates is definitely a little too high for me. She's definitely good though. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I think she might be a little tail heavy. I mean, a little, yeah, a little tail heavy. But she's actually all right. Full power. One more time, full, full throttle. Low rates. She's actually really, really freaking good. Now it is a little gusty up there. Yesterday was pretty bad, but for the size, she actually doesn't uh, move around too much in the sky. Pretty stable. Now I do have gloves on, so I'm being very nice and gentle. I'm not doing nothing crazy. Sorry if I'm not getting any low passes as well. It is kind of hard with gloves on. Wow. But well, this setup is good. Wow. Try to get a low pass here. This is nice. Wow. This is nice. Now we're only gonna fly one battery. Just because it's cold, man. My fingers are like, wow. That is nice. That is nice. But, Honestly, I feel like the bigger the look at that. I was not able to do that with the small plane. Wow. Now, like I said, it is a little gusty, so that it is helping it.
Wow, look at that, man. All right, let's bring her in for a landing and let's talk about this a little tiny bit more. Look at that. All right, it's coming for a nice one. The one that's coming a little bit to the left of us. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to land with it, but there's wires behind us, so we're just gonna come in from that way. Actually, no. Yeah, we definitely can't. And we're gonna come in from this way. Wow, this is nice, man. There you go. Look at that. Wow, that was smooth, man. I chopped the throttle because I have my throttle trim all the way up so that way when I flip the throttle cut it just turns all the way on now that is nice this is nice now another reason that I think is giving it a lot of nose up attitude is because because it's not that tail heavy honestly but this does create a little bit of drag that I noticed in my model about 11 months ago but this is rock solid now as you can see this is extreme this is a lot of thrill but for me honestly it's all right and look i was flying with gloves so last time we tried to fly with gloves it was the gloves that was only up to here so i was able to have my fingers out so my my uh stick literally got stuck right in between it right here so that's what happened last time but this time we were actually pretty good pretty pretty good pretty controlled and this is all right so with that being said i'm definitely going to slap some fpv gear i'm going to try to put the camera up a ways up here like about six inches so that way these guys can see the whole plane i want to be able to see the whole plane like the flight test guys do it um that's a pretty awesome view um or even from the back but i don't want to add no more tail weight to this um i'm going to keep everything in the front everything is nice and good as you can tell let me show you the bottom I have a little bit of tape here so this can't come off but it's all right man it's all right pretty pretty darn good man i definitely recommend this this size and this setup to anybody starting off like maybe for a second wing or or a second plank plane because i feel like they're all the same it's literally the same but guys i mean you can't up for a three channel plane like this and you can't be all right so this will probably be a good second plane with this size um i still don't recommend this for any beginner but it's actually much smoother and much uh easier to control now with this size so i actually recommend everybody to do this to the mini goblin even though the mini one is small you can definitely fit it everywhere but i'm pretty sure you guys can do the same thing with this but all right everyone that was it for this video it's getting a little windy and that's it all right i'll see you in the next one stay creative